Are you tired of chasing people? People who don't value you, fed up with trying to win them over, those who treat you like that fucked up dream sequence in Toy Story. You know the one. I don't want to play with you anymore. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Well, partner, I reckon it's high time you learn the fine art of valuing yourself. <laughs> but hold on. Oh no! I say you need to understand your self-worth. Take my free course. Tighten those screws in your head and master the art of knowing that you're the cat's tuxedo. You see, he used to drive that old busted busted joint. You'll know that you're the, the new, new hotness. hotness. Master the idea of you being the shit and they the flies. So go to hit and take my free course. It's free! Take it, hoss. <laughs> this ain't no game. I said value yourself, mother- <clears throat> What I really meant was order now. All right, let's get things going. Then I can do it in the movie voice. In a world obsessed with the pursuit of love, power, influence, acceptance, that's close enough, attention, paint me and tell me I'm pretty, booty, I bend over for the remote and boom! We often find ourselves seeking validation. We seek self-worth. I funk level could- Are you? No. Deal with it. Contrary to the stereotypical self-help gurus, true self-worth is not something you can just obtain by stacking bills or baking a money pit. No, it's a skill that should be mastered. Like any other skill. Like being a reactor, a live streamer, or being a professional liar. Self-worth is something nobody is born with. It's something you develop through practice, trial, error, failure. It's something that people preach about, but take for granted. This is not to say, be a stuck up little shit. Don't be arrogant or conceited. Great makeup, thanks. For a clown. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say something in my chat. Some of you m****s be say following since 2018. I'm banning you. I don't care. You say something slick in my chat, you gone. No, I mean actual deserved self-worth. Let me explain. Modesty and the table. This name low key sounds like a thousand year blood war episode title. You don't always have to be modest. Wait, reference? Oh. Copyright looking at me like. You could just fuck you up. It's a power limiter. Sometimes you gotta show how well you cook. Like a job resume. Not fucking with you is the incorrect choice. Isn't that cute? But it's wrong! You don't need them anyways. You're doing them a favor. You're welcome, bitch. Be humble, but you can care. But you don't have to be modest. Really, you don't have to do either. It's just nice to do. But speak your truth. I feel good doing it, even though people piss me off. I just can't do it. I can't. No more, man. You're not perfect, but you know your worth. Self-worth gives you confident big dick energy. People say they are the table. I am the table. No, you ain't. Go beyond that. When they ask you, what do you bring to the table? And it's like, oh yeah? Here's what I do. I bring the table. I bring you the food for the table. I cook the food for the table. Give away extra food not used on the table. Ask me about my winner. Talk to you at the table plan for your future at the table, clap your cheeks at the table, play board games at the table. Why? Because I fucking love board games. Clean off the table, put away the table. That's what the fuck you say. But if you don't give me the time of day, congratulations, you played yourself. And you're probably asking me at this point, what do you mean? Ugh, look, just name some shit you're good at and jerk yourself off about how cool you are. Oh, the camera's on. The camera's been on the whole time, huh? But first, you gotta recognize your worth. A wise lady once said, Nobody can make me feel like shit without my consent. Fuck out of here. Eleanor Roosevelt. Probably. Before we continue oh. though, we have to get you over that self-esteem hump. And you'll know exactly if you have low self-esteem. Because these are the regular signs of it. Like procrastinating. You do everything else instead of what you're supposed to do. Hold on. He cooking. Ah, uh, he burnt it. Ah. People often do this type of thing so they can say it wasn't my fault. You're right. It's not my fault. <laughs> Probably because you were too busy procrastinating. Eh, you think, I'll just rub one out before doing some actual work. I get it, I get it. Died. Failure sucks. But hey, you can still turn it around. You can also end up being very passive. Jeez. You're less engaged in doing things. You lack motivation, especially when it feels daunting to fix things. You should talk to people. <laughs> Yes, I know a lot of this shit is futile. Just do it anyways. Speaking of talking, another trait of low self-esteem is shit-talking yourself. You are a worthless bitch-ass nigga. No, you 
wait. Instead of talking bad to yourself, talk nice to them. Accept that you're ass at certain things. Wear it like a badge of honor. Accept who you are. Know who you are. Challenge yourself. Rewrite yourself. Be your own goddamn hero. And heroes don't isolate themselves. With low self-esteem, you're probably isolated. You don't have to feel alone. Bring your ass over here. I gotta play at the barbecue with your name on it. Why, you ask? Because you're not about to pull any of that loneliness shit on my watch. Oh, you think you have a say in the matter? You just gonna leave and be sad? No, you ain't! Now hit that goddamn subscribe button. And if you've done something incredibly based, take the compliment. You know how much I sacrificed! Get your books balanced. They're in accounts receivable. You deserve it. Especially if you're a people pleaser, which is another, or at least it can be a trait of low self-esteem. If you're just being nice, cool. But don't do that shit for validation. Please! Make their cycle match up with yours. If you don't, you'll burn out. And yes, I made a period joke. The fuck y'all looking at? Get you some ride or die friends. Don't beat your own ass to prove yourself to others. Don't let somebody judge you based off of what you achieve. Get off that external validation hamster wheel. All right, what else is in here? Let's see. Ah. Fuck social media. Fuck social media. Yes, I know what I'm speaking to you on. You're broke! Fuck this guy. And this guy. And this guy. And this guy again. Especially this guy. I hope you die out there! Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry lesson don't judge yourself based off some dipshits highlight reels online live your life but seriously though Fuck. all right with that out of the way you are now self esteem certified make sure to watch this video over and over so you can commit it to memory and it gives me more watch time that's a win-win baby okay so you've made it this far good news everyone that is a talent especially with our dog shit attention spans next we find your self-worth where how be passionate about something there's got to be something that you're into figure out what you're good at figure out what's useful show off your skills work hobbies talents like jesus did Boom, shakalaka. and i know some of you will say well i don't have any talents or skills or hobbies and yes you do sound like that i don't know like squidward or cleveland i don't fucking know cleveland leads the nation in drifters and double yes you do have some and remember professional slapping is an actual thing so you got Son this of a bitch. just mind map some stuff out map out some ikagi ikai ikai ikikari some iki yeah, do that. Ronald Reagan was the devil. What you love to do, what the world needs, what you deserve to be paid for, and what you're good at. After all, you deserve this. <laughs> I deserve this! Even with just a couple, the doors start to open. You don't need an external validation either. And I love you, random citizen. <laughs> there are some good things to you, whether you realize it or not. Just love yourself. It's just masturbation. Yeah. Take some time and figure it out. Like you not being a cunt. That alone puts you ahead of like 80% of the world. And once you learn the skill, you no longer have to use the empty skill set of fake it till you make it. Because you know your worth. You get the ultimate final skill that unlocks all other skills in your skill tree. When you master self-worth, you master everything. You become an ultra instinct cracked god of confidence. The world is yours. You become him my little pog champ or her or they how progressive all your stats maxed out nobody can touch you even the haters arriving we are the time haters insult hating ass glares disrespectful shit bags we, rude stuck up we, bitches we. it doesn't matter if you know your worth that shit projects you don't need to beg anyone for their time if they don't fuck with you you don't fuck with them do your own thing gain your own worth let them know they ain't shit until you pull up all right, that's a little conceited, but you know what I mean. When you know your self-worth, any kind of riz, charisma, charm, whatever you want to call it, is yours by default because you've mastered yourself. If someone doesn't like you, you have the power to attract those and everyone else around them. Your presence, your vibe, your aura can be anything, even a cloud. Wait, so she's naked now. Hmm. You can even be a felon and get out of prison because now you know your worth. She Okay, okay, it won't always work like that. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yes, I, I am, you, random, random citizen. citizen. Yes, I am. <laughs> Nothing is out of your reach. Nothing you're a you badass motherfucker. Let the world know that. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Anyways, I'm gonna have to bill you for your time. That'll be one subscribe. Would you like a receipt? Write it off on your taxes. Okay, taxes. don't do that. 
It's a joke, YouTube, for fuck's sake. But anywho, here's a satisfied customer testimonial. Order now. This motherfucker turned into Funky Kong.